hi guys okay now I'm trying to do a quick um, update about stuff that I've been doing the last video I mentioned it was about the apple cider vinegar um, I mentioned previously that I had bought the Goya brand and since then I have bought Bragg's brand I've got it here in Barbados and this is how much I have left you can see now I have that much left because I've done almost like everything with it I've cleaned the house with it um, obviously I've added added stuff to it so the smell this isn't that pungent and I've also washed my hair with it I have I still have my Marty braids in as you can see I have like so much growth well at least I'm hoping that's what it is um, I have a lot of growth I actually was thinking about going to the beach to get a nice sea bath and then take my braid so wash it with bentonite clay which is something I've recently purchased as well um, sorry for the background light it's overcast and got this funny glare outside so okay so that's the bentonite clay that I'm using and it looks kind of white here but um when I mix it, it does come out kind of like gray, a light gray color. And um, if the apple cider vinegar, I also use it on, on my face as well. I use this mixture here, which is, um, you can see the stuff floating around. And this, this is witch hazel. Let me see if I find it. Witch hazel, I use this brand, which is the... Humphreys brand Humphreys witch hazel I use that with this mixture so this is witch hazel apple cider vinegar and vitamin E oil okay that's what I've been using on my face as a toner um, as I mentioned before I had washed my hair well, actually I don't know if to call it a wash or if that would be an apple cider vinegar right I don't know because that's all I did I, I mixed the apple cider vinegar with water and some oil and I spritz it all in my roots and my scalp and all that stuff and give it a good a good massaging you know and then I just rinse it out I didn't use anything else to be honest I didn't use any shampoo or anything to get the smell out I just allowed it to air dry and um, my scalp felt really great this is six weeks now I've had these braids in yep six weeks and um i was really like anticipating to take them out but now i'm feeling kind of lazy to take them out seeing it's overcast and i probably wouldn't get to go to the beach anytime soon um the other thing i've been using since i've had these braids in i've been using my water I've, i'm making sure that my hair is moisturized constantly 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 moisturized and let me tell you, that is one of the reasons why these braids are in so long. I've never kept them in this long at one time. Usually, I would keep it in for three weeks and then I would just like open them up and one by one and redo it. Um, I've done that one time since I've had this um, done. And I think I did that like the third week. Um, yeah, so... I spritz my hair with that water. I use my oil combination I'm still using with my castor oil, jojoba oil, peppermint oil, tea tree oil, carrot oil, um, olive oil. And let me just show you quickly. I can't remember if I did before, but this is the olive oil that I'm using. Extra virgin olive oil. Um, so that's what I'm using on my, on my scalp as well. And um, biotin, last time I talk about biotin, I'm still using the biotin, you know, it's about two weeks now, two, three weeks since I've used it. And I have a confession to me, I kind of was using it wrong. I took it like a regular tablet with water. Um, I did read the instructions before using it, but I didn't really like pay attention to it. But the instruction says you're supposed to keep the tablet under your tongue and let it dissolve or or on your tongue or in your mouth something like that let it dissolve but I've been using it with water 
okay so now I'm trying to probably after using half of the tablets which is 50 I probably use like 25 the wrong way so now I'm trying to use it the right way so yeah so I'm still using my biotin still using my MSN and I am drinking a gallon of water a day okay um it is a challenge at times because I mean working with kids and stuff you had to be going to the bathroom 24 7 which is not my ideal thing to be doing in that field work but um, I am drinking my bottles of water I I drink about eight 16 out cups a day and um, that's my gallon and um, what else I have to say um, I have to look at my notes here okay the next thing that I want to do after I take these out is to dye my hair I'm thinking of dyeing it in a cherry wood color let me just show you what it looks like um, not sure if you're seeing it that good oh goodness so it's a cherry wood color my tones and textures uh -huh. it's pretty much similar to the highlight braids that I have in here that color there is similar to that and I fell in love with it like three years ago when I used it and um, yeah I really love it now my plan where my head is concerned I wanted to um, I didn't even think about the beach because I was really like anticipating just getting these out and using my bentonite clay I've been looking for bentonite clay for like for two months and everywhere was sold out I wanted the um, the Actez brand the Indian Actez or something like that it's in a jar but I didn't get any but um what I had planned was to do my face mask and do my hair do everything face and hair all at once but I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon I've done my face before I've mixed it with honey um, apple cider vinegar and peppermint oil and let me tell you that felt great that felt really great on my face um yeah so that's pretty much my update about my hair my face what I plan on doing I'm just really looking forward to my growth I have I've pretty much opened um, the back part I'm so sorry I can't show you the back part right now but I've opened the back part and just did a car at the back and I am still considering today if to wash it, if to keep it on for another week, probably going to week seven. And um, yeah, I've been a bit itchy to look to check my length. And in doing that, what I have found is that my hair feels great after washing it with the apple cider vinegar. I don't have any, I don't have a lot of shedding because I did finger detangling yeah but I really want to be careful doing that because my nails when you're finger detangling ladies make sure your nails are well filed and probably if no nails at all that could work too because you don't want your hair snagging on your nails so that is pretty much it I am loving the way how my temple is growing out last time I also mentioned that I'm using organets on my hair but it's really groganets Groganets head full of hair and it's a DHT blocker system and it's um, pretty much an ingredient that helps with growth or to expand the the life of expand the growth of your hair basically mm, you can always check out the information about it it's a lot of information and it's a natural ingredient um, yeah it's supposed to strengthen the follicles and promotes longer stronger thicker fuller healthier here both men and women I haven't seen much reviews on this product online especially YouTube haven't seen much reviews about it so that's it bye enjoy your week hope you have a productive week and good luck ladies in whatever you're doing whatever you're going through 
I pray God blessings upon your life. Okay, bye.